Hey guys, we are the Screen Team. Welcome back. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening on KWOC. I'm being joined by Jamie and Jamie and I are getting ready to review a movie called Battle of the Sexes. This movie came out September of 2017 and uh, the movie has to deal with the true story of the 1973 tennis matchup between world number one Billie Jean King and a goofball a former tennis player and a former, uh, not former, but a tennis Hall of Famer, uh, Bobby Riggs. So, Jamie, we got you on the show. You saw the film. What did you think of it? Uh, I liked it. Uh, I, I didn't go into it thinking that I wouldn't like it, uh-huh. but it wasn't quite what I expected. Yeah. Uh, if, if you watch the previews, or at least the, the, the couple of previews that I saw, made it look like there was it was going to be a lot about the actual match that they played yes and and you know the hijinks or whatever leading up to it um but the there was a lot more to it than that yeah so yeah i was surprised too i mean i thought that uh you know we saw the trailer and i thought it was going to be solely based on um you know that match you yeah. know i thought it was going to be you know it, we don't even get into that match until i would say maybe the last 40 minutes of the film it seems like yeah, something you know? like that yeah all right, Jamie, so we had Emma Stone. She played Billie Jean King in this film. What did you think about her performance? I I liked it. Uh, she was, you know, from what little bit I know about Billie Jean King, she she kind of captured her essence, I guess you'd say. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I've seen interviews with Billie Jean King and, and seen her play, and uh, that you know, she kind of handled herself. She moved a lot like her, I thought, Yeah. you know, even in the tennis scenes. Uh, so I guess she probably studied a bunch of old, you know, movies and videos yeah. and things like that. So yeah, it's funny. Like when I heard of the announcement of uh, her playing Billie Jean, I was like, I, I don't really see it. But yeah. when you saw her in in the makeup and the whole get up, you're like, I can see it now. And they really didn't. They didn't seem to alter her appearance that much. Uh, and they didn't Steve Carell either. It's funny how much Steve Carell kind of looks like Bobby <laughs> Riggs anyway. Right. They just added those kind of buck teeth. <laughs> sure. Him, you know, but like they show the pictures at the end and you're like, wait a minute, that's not Steve Carell. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So, uh, but yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's a kind of amazing how actors can, you know, take on a persona like that, uh, just from having a slight resemblance to yeah. a certain person, you know, so. How would you describe Bobby Riggs? I mean, he's... He is not PC. <laughs> no. He, you know, to me, he seemed like just some, uh, he, he seemed like just kind of a schmuck that has gotten <laughs> by on his his wit and his talent. Yeah. I mean, evidently, he was a good tennis player in sure. his day. Um, you know, because he, he, he married the rich the rich daughter of, you know, of so-and-so and, you know, that kind of thing. So he was kind of like a kept husband to a degree. Yeah, he was, yeah. And uh, and I think he saw these these matches as a way to kind of break out of that sure. and, and get out from under the thumb of his his wife and father-in-law, father-in-law you know. Yeah. So, uh, and, you know, and he, you kind of feel sorry for him. Yeah. And I guess that's part of the reason that they explained his part of it, his history, you know. And it's like, yeah, he's really not such a bad guy. He's just kind of doing a lot of that to get attention. Sure. And and back then, that it was so commonplace to to see ah oh, these dames or whatever. <laughs> you know? I I don't know. <laughs> and uh, you know they 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 use the term women's lib and things like that all through the film. And and that, that, those were pretty common terms at the time, from what I gather. I was I was five or so, <laughs> so I I don't remember firsthand, but you yeah. know, looking at at, at uh, documentary pieces by Ken Burns or whoever and things, and you 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 see how the culture reacted to certain things back then. So, uh, was there anything in the film you didn't like? Uh, I, I nothing that I can really think of. Nothing yeah. really stands out. I because I I got drawn in. Uh, one side started watching the movie, and I was like. Well, this is going to take a while to get to this match, you know, because yeah. because you don't even I don't even know if you see Bobby Riggs for a while, do you? I don't. You I don't. Know, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, before they kind of introduce him and go, oh, look at this guy, you know, yeah. he's yeah. honestly the the thing that disappointed me the most in the film was the actual match. I <laughs> I enjoyed all the stories, you know, of, of getting yeah. getting to meet Bobby Riggs and, and and dealing with Billie Jean King's struggles and her relationships yeah. and stuff like that. I enjoyed that part, and you know, you're waiting for the match to. Co- excuse me you're waiting for the match to come and come 
and it finally comes and it, it feels a little underwhelming well, to me well and they kind of just had to show you the the parts where it's like oh she wins this set and he wins this set or whatever you know yeah that, i mean because realistically i guess they couldn't show us a reenactment of the entire thing sure because <laughs> sure. that would have been a whole separate movie you yeah know? so um this movie's rated pg-13 um it's got some uh adult situations in there it's got uh, some language in there as well yeah. um is this a, a multiple watch for you can you you think you can enjoy this down the road sometime uh yeah i would probably watch it again yeah you know just i don't know what kind of mood i'd have to be in but you know maybe a couple of years from now i might sit down and go oh hey this is on hbo or yeah <laughs> one of those kind of movies so yeah all right, the movie's called Battle of the Sexes, starring Oscar winner Emma Stone, uh, Oscar nominee uh, Steve Carell. Also, um, anybody else of significance in it? Um, who's the, um, what's that one dude's name? The guy who played in Independence Day. He was, uh, not Bill Paxton, but Bill Pullman. Bill Pullman. Bill Pullman, Bill Pullman was Pullman's in it. Bill really good. Yeah, Bill Pullman this. was in it as well. So yeah. um, uh, you can find it on DVD. Coming up, we've got more requests right here on the screen team.